Standard 9th, Geography, Chapter 7, Population Points to learn 7. Population 7.1. Growth of Population 7.1.1. Density 7.1.2. Distribution 7.2. Structure of Population 7.2.1. Sex Ratio 7.2.2 Age Structure 7.2.3 Literacy 7.3 Migration Learning Outcomes After learning this chapter, you can get the following informations. Importance of Population as a Resource Growth and Distribution of Population Density and Migration of Population Information about population structure Information of sex ratio and literacy in Maharashtra Population as a resource Population is a natural resource. The country gets manpower for defense through population. The quality of population depends on its efficiency, literacy and intellect. Industries, farming, trade, mining and the development of other professions in any country depends on the quality of the population. In Maharashtra, the distribution of water, land holding, forests, minerals and animal resources is highly uneven. The use of these resources depends entirely on man. In case of population, Maharashtra ranks second in India. According to the 2011 census, Maharashtra has population of 11 crores 23 lakhs 72,972, of which 51.9% are male and 48.1% are female. Maharashtra accounts for 9.23% of the total population of India. Seven point one Growth of Population On first may nineteen sixty, Maharashtra state came into existence. At that time it had a population of four crores. Since last fifty years, because of the development in industries, trade, transport, tourism and farming, the quality of life has improved. In Maharashtra, there has been a migration of people on a large scale for employment, so the population has been increasing steadily. The birth rate is high because of poverty, illiteracy and insufficient propaganda about family planning, whereas the death rate has decreased due to medical facilities, sufficient food supply and control on epidemics. This has resulted in an increase in the population of Maharashtra. The growth rate of population of Maharashtra is higher than the growth rate of India. The rate of the population growth of Maharashtra during the decade 1961 to 1971 was 27.45% while the population growth of India was 24.8%. During the decade 1981 to 1991, it decreased to 25.73%. Repeat, it decreased to 25.73%. At the same time, the figure for India was 23.85%. During 2001 and 2011, in Maharashtra, the rate of the population growth is 15.99% and in Thane district, it is 35.94%, which is the highest in the state. Mumbai district shows negative growth of population, that is 5.75%. For the first time, Mumbai, Ratnagiri and Sindhudur districts also recorded negative growth of population. Seven point one point one 
density of population. Population density is a ratio between persons residing in the region and the total area of the region. For example, Maharashtra. Density of population is equal to persons residing in the region upon the total area of region. Therefore, 11 crore 23 lakhs 72,972 upon 3,7580 square kilometers is equal to 365.34 persons per square kilometer, where the total population is 11 crores 23 lakhs 72,972 and the total area of Maharashtra is 3 lakh 7580 square kilometers. So the average density of the state is 365 persons per square kilometers. The distribution of the population is shown in the map by dot or the choropleth method. In the dot method, the number of people is considered. Whereas in chloropleth maps, density of population is represented. We shall study according to the density of population. Seven point one point two Distribution of population as per density. A. The very high density region. More than six hundred and one persons per square kilometer. Mumbai City, Mumbai Suburban, Thane and Pune districts have the density of population more than 600 persons per square kilometer. Mumbai is a natural port and the capital of Maharashtra as well as the financial capital of India. Similarly, there is a development in technology and transport in the districts of Thane and Pune which causes opportunities of employment. Due to the migration of people towards this region, the density is very high. B. High density region 451 to 600 persons per square kilometer. It includes Nagpur and Kolhapur districts. Nagpur is in the central part of India and also a center of transportation routes. Kolhapur district is developed in agriculture and industrial products. So, the density of population is high in these districts. C. Medium density region 301 to 450 persons per square kilometers. In western Maharashtra, Nasik, Satara, Jalgao, Ahmadnagar as well as Aurangabad division and some districts of Nagpur division have a medium density of population. In these areas, farming is the main occupation and industrial development is going on. D. Low density region 151 to 300 persons per square kilometer. To the east region of the Sahyadri ranges lies the rain shadow region. Dure, Ahmadnagar and Beat districts come under this zone. In the east of the state, there are large hilly tracts and forested area which results in low density of population in the districts of Bhandara, Gondia and Chandrapur. In the districts of Amravati, Akola, Vashim, Yavatmar, Hingoli and Parbani, the population density is low due to uncertainty of farm yields and existence of nomadic tribes. E. The very low density region. Less than 150 persons per Population distribution and factors affecting it. There is extremely uneven distribution of population in Maharashtra. In North Kokan and Western Maharashtra, population is dense, whereas it is sparse in Aurangabad and Nagpur divisions. Thani district has highest population 9.84%, 
by Sindhudurg district has lowest population 0.08% in the state. Natural, economic and social factors affect the distribution of population of Maharashtra. Natural factors The western part of Maharashtra has Sahyadri mountain extending in the north-south direction. The areas of this mountain and offshoots extending in Kokan have greater relief and dense forests. As a result, population in this area is less dense. Similarly, due to large area under forests in eastern Maharashtra, it also records low population density. In the plateau area of Maharashtra, due to fertile soils and favorable climate, population is dense. Economic Factors Seven point two structure of population sex ratio age structure literacy occupation rural and urban factors affect the structure of population. The main source of population data is census. It is used for development and future planning. seven point two point one sex ratio sex ratio is the ratio of number of females per thousand males. Sex ratio is a good indicator of social status. Where women have a better social status, there the difference between number of male and females is less. The ratio is found to be close to 1000. In Maharashtra, the females are less than males. Maharashtra Sex ratio is equal to women upon men in 2000, which is equal to 5 crore 40 lakhs 11,575 upon 5 crores 83 lakhs 61,397 into 1000, which is equal to 925.46. In the last 10 years, in Maharashtra, the sex ratio has marginally increased from 922 to 925. In Maharashtra, the highest sex ratio is in Ratnagiri district, 1123, as there has been migration of men in search of employment. It is the lowest in the Mumbai district, 838. In Mumbai, the immigration of men from various states is higher. Recently, the sex ratio in the age group between 0 to 6 years is also derived. It is also considered a social aspect of population. This is used for future projection of population. The sex ratio of this age group is 883. In the state, the highest child sex ratio is in Gadcharoli district, 956 and the lowest is in the Beed district, 801. Seven point two point two, Age Structure The population can be divided as per age group. Generally, the age group between 0 to 14 years, children are dependent. 15 to 59 are active population and the age group 60 years and above is considered as old age group which is dependent. From the age structure, we can understand about labor force and working population present in the state. Also, it is necessary to know the age structure of the population for planning and to provide various facilities. Generally, factors like birth rate, death rate and migration, etc. affect the age structure. As per 
2001 census, the proportion of the working people is 42.05% and the proportion of the non-working people is 57.05%. That is why the state has a low ratio of working population. Similarly, the proportion of children is 50% while the proportion of old people is 7%. Seven point two point three literacy. Literacy is a characteristic of a developed society. In Maharashtra, eighty two percent people are literate. The literacy rate of males and females is eighty six point zero two percent and sixty seven point zero five percent respectively. In Mumbai and suburban areas, the literacy rate is eighty seven percent because this is totally an urban area. Sindhudurg district has a high literacy rate. In the districts of western Maharashtra, the literacy rate is similar to the Maharashtra state's average literacy rate. In central and eastern Maharashtra, literacy rate is low. Chandrapur, Gadchiroli and Nandurbar districts have low literacy rate as they have relatively higher scheduled tribal population. Seven point three Migration Migration is a process in which an individual or the group of individuals goes from one place to another to stay temporarily or for a long period. Generally, natural calamities Business, war, job transfer, education, marriage, tourism, etc. are the factors responsible for migration. In Maharashtra, there has been a migration on a large scale in metropolitan cities from various parts of the country. Similarly, in the state, the migration from rural area also is found. The agricultural laborers migrate towards the irrigated area. The women immigration is due to marriage. Due to the lack of job opportunities in the rural areas, people migrate for employment in urban areas. The migration also takes place due to educational and medical facilities. The area from where people migrate face problem of scarcity of labor whereas the areas to which people migrate suffers the stress on infrastructural facilities due to increase in population. It creates stress also on the social services.